everyone, so I thought that I would come and do my first unboxing video. Um, this box was sent to me by Influencer for free, and it is their first Latina Beauty box box. And I guess they went around through everyone's profile who had Hispanic in their profile, so I am Hispanic, I am Puerto Rican. So um, they chose a bunch of people that they would send these to, so I did get this for free. And I want to say that the products inside don't really cater to Latina women specifically. I think anyone could use these products, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you what I got. Alrighty, so um, the first thing that I pulled out of this box is like a little postcard thingy that they sent and it just has all the information on what's in the box and how much they cost. So I will read off everything that's in here and then I'll show you and kind of give you my like little review on them. So the first thing that I pulled out of the box and that's on here is the Veet Ready to Use wax strips for leg and body and I was actually kind of really excited when I saw these just because I hate shaving my legs I always seem to nick myself with my razor and that's painful and annoying I did try these out and I've always been kind of terrified of waxing at the same time too so I was kind of like on the fence about them but I did try it on my legs it's painful I don't <laughs> it hurt a little bit but it's not unbearable like I don't understand how people go get like Brazilian waxes I feel like that would be really torturous but these are not bad and um it removed the hair and it was fast and it's easy and it just goes a lot quicker than shaving in the shower but I do like these and um if you hate shaving your legs like me then definitely go pick these up it's a little bit painful but it's not unbearable and yeah I mean I would purchase these and these this is actually a full size which is awesome and it is $9.99 so I'm sure you could find this at like CVS or Dwayne Reed or Rite Aid or something like that. So, V, ready to use wax strips, love them. I'll probably continue to purchase these. And you actually get a lot in here. You get 40 full size wax strips and then six wipes to like wipe off any residual wax that you have on. So, awesome. The next thing is this Shea Enriched Shower Gel in Pink Chiffon from Bath and Body Works. I thought this was pretty. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of Bath & Body Works in terms of like their scents, but I kind of like this. It kind of smells fruity, but like florally at the same time. I'm not a big fan of shower gels, but it was okay. I mean, I'm more... I prefer the bars because I like how it lathers, and I'm not too big on the loofah thingies, like those weird sea urchin sponge looking things kind of freak me out. I feel like there's a lot of bacteria in there and yeah. So um, if you do like shower gel, I would recommend this. It actually smells pretty, it's very girly, I would say. So if you like that sugary, sweet, flowery smell, definitely pick this up. Um, this is a three ounce bottle. And this is five dollars. If you want the full size, it's eleven dollars and that's ten ounces. Right now on the Bath and Body Works website, it's buy three, get two free, I believe. So if you want to check this if you want to check this out, definitely go pick it up. And then the next thing is this Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Lotion Sunscreen. And this is a mini size bottle, but if you want a full size, it's $7.99 for a full size bottle. And it's available, this is SPF 30, but it's also available in SPF 12, 30, and then 15, 50. I really like this. I did put it on today and my arms now are even, they don't feel dry. Usually I have really dry skin on my body. On my face I'm really oiled, but on my body I'm really dry. So usually by now I would probably need to reapply moisturizer or something like that. But this, I can actually still, it's not like, a gross feeling but you can tell that your skin is hydrated and I really like this. I have this lavender and vanilla lotion by Suave and they kind of smell similar. I don't know if it's the lavender or the vanilla but it does smell really good and I actually really like this so I don't know where I would find this in stores but I'm definitely gonna look out for this because I do like it especially it gives you that nice kind of tropical smell for summer and it has sunscreen in it which is awesome so you'll smell nice and you'll be protected so that's really important. So if you can find this anywhere, I highly, highly recommend it. So the next thing in here is the NYC New York Color Liquid Lip Shine. And these are $2.49. So I'm sure you can find these at any 
uh, CVS, Dwayne Reed, Walgreens, whatever other drugstore you have near you. Um, I always see NYC. I actually don't even own any makeup from NYC. I believe I do have a couple of their nail polishes, which are okay. Um, I was actually pretty stoked that this was a nude because I've been getting into nudes a lot more lately just because for the summer and the spring I like to do really bold eye makeup so I like to definitely keep it neutral or really subtle with the lips so this is a nude kind of beigey brown color. It's called Nude York City. It's on sticky lip gloss basically and I do like it. The thing that I love most about this is the brush. And as you can see, it's just like a little stick. It's not really like a doe foot applicator. And it gets, it's really easy for like lining your lips and then filling them in. And I like this. It's definitely moisturizing. It smells really good. It's like a MAC lip gloss amplified. Like it has that vanilla scent just a lot stronger than you would get in a MAC lip gloss. Um, and it definitely stays on for quite a while. It stays on at least a couple of hours, I would say maybe four hours. If you don't really like eat anything, it'll definitely stay there and give you a nice kind of shimmery shine. It's not overpowering or anything like that. It's very nice. Um, the color payoff, I wouldn't say it's like amazing. You do get a hint of color. I mean, if you layer it on, you'll get a bit of color. It's probably, you're probably not going to even see it. But I do, there is a color there. Kind of just blends in with my skin. But there is color there. So you get do get a little bit of payoff, but it's not extremely pigmented. But I do like these, and especially for a drugstore product, you really can't go wrong with these. So I, I would recommend them. So, yeah. The last two things in the box are feminine care products. The Always Radiant Infinity Pads. This, right here. Um, these are $6.99. And... I'm just going to read what it says on the card because, I mean, I haven't tried these yet because I haven't needed them yet, so, um, yeah, but I'm sure eventually I'll do this. It says, Always Radiant Infinity Pads feature a unique technology, Infinis, that confirms to each individual shape, delivering premium protection and performance. The pads offer a light, clean scent and micro dots for fast absorption to help women stay feeling fresh. A wider back and flexible wings provides increased coverage where you need it most. So that sounds pretty good for your um, monthly women um, care needs. I don't know. Um, the box is pretty. I think that's really nice. I can't really review on this right now because I haven't needed them. But I guess if you guys want a review on them, it's a little awkward. But if you want a review on these, let me know. I'll let you know if it's worth it. And yeah, yay for pads, I guess. And the second feminine care product is actually pretty cool. Um, it's always Tampax Radiant Collection. Prices vary, I guess. This is actually, it says for sample, not for resale. But it comes with like this little bag and I think that it's so adorable. I know I'm supposed to give one of these to a friend so I might give this to my niece just because she's in high school right now so I mean we've all been there in high school we don't want to carry around like a pad in our hand and then walk to the bathroom because then everybody knows right so um, just have a little bag with you it's a little easier now like if you're in college because you can just always have your bag on you but um, in high school sometimes you have to leave your stuff in your locker or even in middle school you don't you know you can't bring your bag everywhere so I think this will be good especially for younger girls I mean even for Adults now, like if you work in an office or you work somewhere where you have to walk by everyone <laughs> to get to the bathroom and you just kind of want to keep that discretion, you can just hide your stuff in there and it's just like a little cute toiletry purse. And it's so pretty. I mean, I wish I could keep this. So cute. So inside are a couple of things. It has one of those, these, these pad thingies. And apparently it's scented, so I guess that's pretty cool. Um... You can definitely look online and if you want to know more about them. There's three like penny liner things. Coupons. So yay. Coupons for pads. And then inside are a regular and a super tampon show. That's awesome. That all goes in there. It's actually a pretty big bag. Like you could probably put makeup in there too if you really needed to. But I think this is an awesome idea because 
who wants to walk around carrying their pad and letting everyone know that they're on their period that's not fun right so that is my fox box latina beauty unboxing um i will put the link down below for influencer if you want to check them out and you can find all the information on their vox boxes and how to get vox boxes and all that on their website so i'll put that link down below and thank you guys for watching and i will see you soon bye